We are back with world champion and Army veteran Julie Golub. So you wrote a post about some pushback you got from YouTube recently. Tell us about that. Sure. Uh, we, of course, have heard about all sorts of uh, social media challenges that gun owners face. And I personally haven't experienced much of it uh, because, you know, I'm pretty simple. What I post is very simple. I post a lot of match videos and stage breakdowns and stuff like that on my YouTube channel. But I was notified by YouTube that one of my videos is no longer advertiser friendly. And uh, it was a little bit shocking because, of course, I expected, you know, oh, it must be the one with the AK-47 or the big scary yeah. black ARs, right? And it was actually a Revolver Nationals video. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it, it, it just is mind boggling. I think we actually have a, a snippet of that video. Let's see the video. Actually, that just made me want to shoot a revolver, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, it's int the online world is so interesting. It's like, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a little bit now. And um, I know personally, you know, throughout the, throughout the years, there's always been this, this, this kind, of, kind of flux between YouTube and all these social media platforms and then um, creators in the gun space. Uh, dealing with, you know, censorship or, you know, whether or not there's this massive conspiracy or there's not a conspiracy or a misunderstanding. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so hard because, you know, the, the, the rhetoric on the other side of things is so vitriolic. And, but at, while at the same time, a lot of these individuals that, that maintain this kind of anti-gun perspective are individuals who run these platforms or are part of these platforms. Right. You know, it's largely um, a, a more of a, a, a super liberal uh, component to things and essentially they had their their hands all over the social media entertainment world um, yeah. to be honest with you I have I want to say I think to my knowledge I think three videos that have been demonetized um, yeah. and so I, I, I initially I was like what in the world is going on here you know I was like, like this right. doesn't make any sense there was a lack of consistency as well because I'm looking at some of my videos. I'm like, like you, like you pointed out, you think it would be like the, the AK-47 video. Um, no, and it was, they were very kind of harmless videos compared to some of my other videos, so to speak. And um, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell because a part of me wants to give the benefit of the doubt in the sense of you know maybe there's an uh, uh, issue with the algorithm and you know the, that the way they compute whether or not something's appropriate or not appropriate, you know, is you know, kind of messed up somewhere or, you know, I've fallen into the fray of being wrongly tagged as inappropriate. Um, right. It's it's so hard to say these days in this space, in, in this day and age, because you just you just don't know. Um, right. And so so what, what has been your experience with trying to I mean, have you tried to get the video back up? Have you appealed it? What's what's been going on with that? So I, I click the, you know, the classic, hey, review mm -hmm. the video again and uh, wait for the notification that it is or isn't, hasn't, has or not been accepted. But the thing that is mind boggling to me is they're still accepting money from gun friendly advertising because, mm -hmm. you know, whenever I go on YouTube, that's all I'm seeing is the advertising yeah. for the next concealed carry holster or the NRA. And so my videos perfectly align with that objective. So it's it's confusing to me that you know, here we have an opportunity for YouTube and Google to make a significant sum of money because they're partnering the yeah. advertising with appropriate videos. But it's just not not the case. I mean, I wonder that to me leads me down the road of thinking that it's an algorithm issue, possibly mm. because it because it, it really doesn't make it doesn't make a lick of sense in the slightest. For them, like you said, to be having because I see them all the time too. Uh, there's, one <laughs> right. so, there's this one video, this one commercial. That, just that one me, video. Yeah, just, <laughs> I know, right? I was just like, did you just say that? Like, come on, man. Um, but <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, though, you know, it, it's definitely it, there's a lack of congruency in the sense of you know you have 
running ads on videos, but then you take down the very videos that are most conducive to those videos. And I'm kind of, exactly. I'm a little perturbed because one of my, my more favorite videos, which was uh, the video about um, not being able, uh, why you shouldn't get into guns, uh, that, that got demonetized. And, and so it's kind of like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah. You know, it, it's yeah. weird. Cause I, based off the title, you would think, oh, no, we definitely want this video up, right? Uh, right. <laughs> but granted, that video, right. you know, the video was done tongue in cheek. And um, so maybe they watched it and thought, no, 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 we got to get out of here. But then at the same time, I have, a, I have other videos that fall along the exact same line. So it's like, right. do I wait to see? Do I? I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. Um, I know. It, it, it's interesting. And so I'm in, a, I'm in an appeal process myself waiting and that like has half a million views. I'm like, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So and you know, you wonder if there, it's, it's hard not to go secret squirrel, like paranoia at this point. <laughs> like, wow. You know, this is one of my more popular videos. Is it because, you yeah, know, yeah. um, but you know, across the board, when you look at Twitter, for example, Twitter used to hound me to advertise and boost my, my tweets and mm. all of that stuff. And they were the first ones to say, no, we can't, we won't accept your advertising dollars. Well then don't pester me about spending money with you. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a very frustrating situation to be in for someone who's on social media or for someone who is creating video on YouTube because it's it's definitely uh, you, you just don't know what you can and can't do you know it's interesting sometimes I wonder if if there is so like for instance for the longest time I thought a lot of people in Hollywood like were anti-gun like yeah. genuinely anti-gun um, as I continue to do this and I learned a little bit more I want to say about uh, about a, uh, maybe a half of them are anti-gun for show and are secretly pretty pro-gun um, there is this, and w which is why I say the cultural battle with respect to firearms in this country is so important because a lot of these people are driven by, mo by money. You know, some, a lot of people just, right. they just don't want to get blackballed in the industry that they're in where they make a living. Yes. And a lot of that is driven by the inherent culture behind the idea of firearms. You know, in that, in that space, in that zone, it's considered taboo to be into guns. It's considered a bad thing. It's vilified. Um, and so I've always really gone out of my way to try to, to try to demonstrate gun culture in such a way where it, it shifts that notion and, and, and makes it something that's more positive, something that's more readily acceptable. Because the more acceptable it is on a, on a, on a, um, on a commercial scene, uh, the less we have to deal with these types of issues. Because let's say this issue with YouTube is simply algorithms, right? Let's say it's just the way they, they were trying to, trying to uh, minimize certain content and then we just got caught up in the web. It, I don't think it's us going secret scroll all paranoia to think, wait a minute, is this targeted? Because we've dealt with this before. It's not like right. it's not like the other side hasn't tried and made attempts to, to basically censor anything that has to do with firearms. So for right. then for us to make, so it's a logical conclusion to think, well, when one of my highest viewed videos gets demonetized or taken down, it begs the question immediately, like, okay, what's, is there an agenda behind this? Um, and right. so that's kind of the space we live in as gun owners, which is unfortunate, especially as content creators. And yeah. it sucks because we put a lot of time into the things that we do. Like even you, you though you may, for you, you may just posted the video, but a lot of work went into you taking the time to go out and practice and, and, and to be able to shoot and do the things that you do and then be able to put that online for people to see and aspire to. Um, it just sucks when just like that, you know, you can, you can take it off. And, Absolutely. you know, some people are like, well, I mean, you can still post a video, you're just not making money off of it. I'm like, right. well, when you largely are functioning, I mean, there are times where I lose money on videos just right. because I want it to look and feel exactly the way I want it to look. And then I take the money I make from YouTube and reinvest it into the ability to make more videos and to keep going right. in, that, in that regard. So it's, 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 it's tough, it's tough. Um, well, it, it's hard to put out quality at that point because yeah. obviously we're going to use social media to keep the community aspect of the gun world open, yeah. and that's what that's the that's the ultimate goal for me. That's why I put out videos. Um, it's not to make big YouTube bucks, mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's still kind of like, oh, 
how I, I'm being limited to how well I can create those videos because now I only can deal with what I that certain level of, of support that I have and, and that amount of reach and I have to depend on the organic reach and the organic community to yeah. to hopefully share and create conversation. But I know they stifled those. That's the thing though. There was a time where we could easily depend on organic reach, but I know right. Facebook has stifled organic reach on purpose for monetary reasons. You know, they have to yeah. incentivize you at some point to want to pay right. for ads, you know? So the organic reach we used to get before sucks, yeah. honestly. <laughs> um, and then, yep. yeah, but then again- And then you can't pay for ads either. It, <laughs> Exactly. Um, I, I've lost. I think I've lost Julie. Julie, are you still there? Nope. Nope. Julie is gone. Um, but you know, we, we had about a minute left with Julie, um, and um, I'll just keep talking until she comes back. But <laughs> you know, um, with Facebook, it sucks. You're right because the, you don't, you can't monetize the ad. So in one, in one, in one lane, you know, you, you lose your organic reach, and in order to accomplish the numbers you used to get before with your organic reach, you have to pay for ads but you can't pay for ads because there are guns in them. And so right. you've essentially censored me at that point. And so whether or not this YouTube thing was deliberate, I can very much say that Facebook from that standpoint <laughs> is pretty damn deliberate. Um, yeah. and, and I don't know if it's ma there's malicious intent or they've just succumbed to the negative culture around firearms as, as a whole. You know, their idea of, oh, we, we want to come across as being hard on the idea of promoting gun sales, right? Especially when you have language coming from the other side telling people that I can just go on Facebook, order a gun, and it shows up at my door the next day. And that's not the case. And so, yeah. which is why what we do is very important from the standpoint that we've got to get out there and spread the word and have people understand that these are fallacies that are being spread. They're not the truth. Their lies, um, and so you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's it, it's it, it's frustrating, but I mean, you know, this is the life we chose. <laughs> yeah, makes you wonder if those those networks did accept our money. Where would they be? Like, for example, Twitter. So Saigon, in the sense of not accepting advertising, well, they're not doing so hot right now. Yeah. What would happen if they actually were open to having the gun industry and guns and gear industry support it? Be interesting. I mean. Money is a massive motivator, you know? Um, and I think right now, and I, and I just tell people this all the time, right now as an industry, they, they stand to lose more money um, by embracing us than they do um, from kind of shunning us or having the perception of shunning us um, because they make more money with the other side. There are a lot more people on the other side who either are apathetic to the idea of firearm ownership or who are adversely against or adamantly against it. Um, and until we we kind of build ourselves up to, to a force, a monetary force that can't be reckoned with, um, <laughs> we're kind of going to kind of we're largely going to have to be at their mercy. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, we'll, 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 we'll find a way. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm constantly chugging away, trying to figure out ways to, 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 to basically develop different platforms so that we can, like, I mean, we're doing it now, essentially. Yes. Um, when you have, yes. you have NRA TV, you have, you know, Seeing Live and all the other programming that we have, um, those are incredibly important. And, you know, there are a bunch of other platforms out there who are collectively trying to get content creators together in a gun space and, and basically developing an independent system. So, you know, that's my little soapbox rant for the day. <laughs> um, we're going to close the show off early today. No, I'm joking. But no, it, it's, <laughs> it's always a pleasure, Julie. I, I really appreciate it. And I, I really do hope that you get everything squared away because I thought the video was awesome. Um, you reminded me that I need to go and get a revolver. And um, so, <laughs> but no, thank you very much, Julie. And then uh, be sure to join us again pretty soon. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. So when we come back, why does the media have so much trouble reporting on guns accurately? We'll take a look after this quick break.